If you want to hear, want to hear an inspiring word that will get you through your day. If you want to build your faith, your faith grow in God's grace. God's grace. To have a better connection with Jesus Christ. So tune in to Good God's Morning. Good God's Morning. Good God's Morning. What's up, y'all? Good guys, morning to you. How y'all doing? Y'all good this morning? Pray all is well with you on this fine Monday. This Monday, another day the Lord has made. We will, we shall. We're going to rejoice and be glad in it. Good guys, morning to you. Let us get our scripture for this morning. Our scripture. Beloved, it's going to be coming from Daniel chapter 2, verse 22. Good morning, good morning. So Daniel chapter 2, verse 22. And it says, He reveals deep and hidden things. He knows what lies in darkness and light dwells within, light dwells with him. Let me read it again for you. It says, He reveals deep and hidden things. He knows what lies in darkness and light dwells with him. Well, he, first of all, who is he? <laughs> he is Jesus. He is God. All right. So I have said scripture here says that it is he who reveals the deep and the hidden things and it is he, God, who knows what lies in darkness and light dwells with him. So, beloved, question this morning. If I may say a question, perhaps a comment. Is if you want to know something, ask God. He reveals all things. We we often say uh, uh, this quote. My mama used to say it a lot. What's done in the dark comes to the light. One thing about God, and this and this this is that scripture right there at the bottom of that where it says, "And light dwells with Him." You can't be in darkness and be in the light. What am I talking about? You can't be a Jesus holy roller fire baptized, born again believer love the Lord sun up, sun down every time somebody says something to you yep, God's good all the time and all the time God's good. Yes, yes, yes hallelujah. No, 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 no. And on the other side dwelling in darkness scripture says that he God knows what lies in darkness but this is what it gets me this is what it is and light dwells with him so if you're with him you're in him and he in you guess what there is light there there is nothing hidden there is nothing secretive there is no lies there is no dark deep hidden things it is it, you are very transparent and this is why you know I, I you know what let me say this before beloved I wasn't so transparent mm -mm. wasn't transparent <laughs> Uh, you know, this wasn't transparent. And God came to me one day 
And he said, listen. And he was just, just talking to me like I'm talking to you. I know who you are. I made who you are. But I need for you to accept who you are. When we talk about the scripture, the worship of the Lord in spirit and in truth. Now is the time God seeks for, for those that worship will worship him in spirit and in truth. God, we were created in the spirit. And as he created us in the spirit, he gave us and in everything that we 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 had and we needed, we, we our 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 what was to come, it was already placed inside of us. He created us in the spirit, and he knew all of what was to know. My truth. The problem is not that God has a problem with our truth. We do. And so we hide, we dug, we we. You know, we can we conceal things. We don't tell everybody. That, but God says, I know it all. But I need you to walk in your truth. I need you to accept who you are. I already accept you because I made you. Remember, you were my workmanship. And I was like, wow, really? It's like when you want to be free, when you want to be walking in the light, Walk in the light, deep the light. <laughs> You'll feel so much better. And truth, when I started walking in the light, because I couldn't dwell, and this is my point, I couldn't dwell in him and say I loved him and say I was his child and say, you know, I'm his, 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 his spokesperson and be in darkness. That's why I understand how some people can walk around and they hide and in line about who they are. Come on, shame the devil. Walk in your truth. Because if you in Christ, there is light in him. There is nothing dark, hidden, secret. And this is, and I believe, and this is, this is, this is what God does for me every time, all the time. He reveals things. Sometimes He reveals things I don't want to know things, but He reveals it because He He reveals. He's the one that reveals. Scripture says, the deep and the hidden things. One thing I know about God is sometimes we think we get away with stuff, but God brings it to the light. Sometimes we think. That oh nobody gonna know oh, and and the reason why we think nobody know is because we get it away, away with it for more than a day. We get away with it, and it's not that God doesn't see it. God doesn't you know God is not gonna reveal it or God isn't saying God has given us an opportunity to get our mess right before He takes the covers off. Come on now. You got to know it, beloved. You got to know it. And so this morning, you know, understand that God never leaves his people in the dark. And his people are never in the dark with him because in him is light. So today, if you feel like you're in darkness, check where you, what your, what your relationship is really with God. Check where you are with God. Are you really walking in the light? Are you really allowing God to reveal, if you want to know, reveal and, and have those, those hidden things? Because there is no darkness in God. There's only darkness in the devil. Darkness in the devil. Things happen in the darkness. God says, come to the light. There's liberty in the light. Freedom in the light. Walk in the light. <laughs> Let's pray, Father. We thank you this morning for your word. We thank you for the opportunity to come and, and, and just hear from you, God. And Lord, I thank you, oh God, for revealing uh, truth. Thank you for your light that shines bright on us, God, in darkness, in dark places, God. I thank you, oh God, that we can walk in the light. We can walk in liberty because where there's light is there, is, there is liberty. There is a freedom. There is a joy. There is a peace in the light. So, God, help us to walk in the light. Help us to trust 
the light. Help us, oh God, to lean not to our own understanding, but God, trust your word. Trust your will. Trust your way. We thank you, God, for you will reveal that which needs to be real at the appointed time. For it is you, God, who reveals these things. It is you, God, who knows these things. So, God, we thank you, O oh God, for you being the author and the finisher of our faith. For you, for you being able to look high, sit high but look low and not too busy to talk to us and be concerned about us. God, we just ask you to continue to keep us in your care. We thank you for your for you being God. In Jesus' name we pray. The people of God said, Amen. Amen. All right, beloved. Good God's morning to all of y'all. I see y'all. Hey. Good morning to you. Hey. <laughs> good God's morning to each and every one of y'all. Y'all have a blessed and a beautiful day, okay? Remember, Jesus is the light of the world. Light of the world. Y'all remember that song? Light of the world. Yeah. All right. God bless you. And I'll tell you today, if 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 there's something that you have a question about, ask God. Ask God. He'll reveal it. I promise you, he never leaves his people in the dark. Because he is not about darkness. Okay? Good guys, morning to each and every one of y'all. Have a blessed and beautiful day. We'll see y'all tomorrow for another Good Guys Morning moment. Good guys morning. If you want to hear want to hear an inspiring word that will get you through your day. If you want to build your faith, your faith grow in God's grace, God's grace. To have a better connection with Jesus Christ. So tune in to Good God's Morning. Good God's Morning. Good God.